I currently work for Marcus and Millichap as the platform owner and solution architect. One of the primary challenges I was looking to find as a solution to help me handle was dependency analysis. Um, I'd had a previous tool and just it didn't quite do what I wanted to do. I wanted something a little more extensible. The thing that makes the Elements platform stand out the most is the way it was really designed from kind of a start to finish. Um, the, the planning tools, um, whether it's the requirements and stories also being tied into the items in a process map, the being able to create your own reference models for external systems, have everything kind of tied together into your user stories um, and create those additional dependencies. And then, you know, use that for, you know, planning, for risk assessment. It really was kind of an end-to-end -end tool for that, which I think the other ones were missing. There was actually some really surprising ways it was integrated. The first was the requirements and stories, as we used Jira. So I didn't think we were actually going to use that feature until they integrated it. And now they live both places. And what that in turn has done is building stories from the process maps, because how we like to work, how my mind works, I like to lay something out and see that flow of these are the things that, for the user, what need to happen. These are the steps and the things that need to occur. And then from there, we can build those stories off that. And those flow into Jira, and now we have them there. And then the other piece on the process maps that I really wasn't expecting is how much our stakeholders love it. We started kind of building out, okay, this is sort of the idea of the feature. What does this need to do? And using sticky notes to list out all those little things. And then we turn those sticky notes into pieces of a process. And then that ties into our requirements and stories. And it gives our stakeholders uh, in the C-suite something visual to look at. We're able to kind of map that out in elements uh, from, you know, on a kind of a story. When this person changes teams, this thing happens, this thing happens, this thing happens. And we could kind of map all those out from the starting point of this is the triggering action. What are the pieces that it's going to then go affect? and you know, what else needs to happen and what do we need to be aware of and writing the stories off that. And I think that probably saved us a good two weeks on something that probably would have taken a month. Until we had elements, we really didn't have an end-to-end -end DevOps process. And it just helps us work the way each of us want to work and are used to working and what makes sense for us. Being able to use elements to create the idea of the metadata before it's actually there so you can use it in your stories. And then once you actually create that metadata item in your system, it replaces it. And you still have those connections in place. Elements is the only thing I've seen so far that has a proposed metadata function. The Elements team has been great with helping me understand how I can get the most out of different features in ways that I hadn't thought of originally. I would say to any business that is in Salesforce and DevOps at all, really look at Elements.